Good morning. My name is Dr. Heman Sharma. I'm an orthopedic surgeon with a special interest in joint replacement and redo joint replacements and sports injuries. I do all the joint replacements with the help of computer navigation. May it be hip, knee or a partial knee. Today, we are going to demonstrate how a computer navigated knee replacement is done and what are the advantages. So we are going to use a Johnson & Johnson computer called as Brain Lab. And this computer enables us to perform a knee replacement with the help of Johnson & Johnson implant or an other implant. Plus, it can also allow us to do a half knee replacement. The knee replacement done like this improves the accuracy. We can know what is the problem before the surgery. For example, if before the surgery the knee is deformed like this say by 16 degrees computer tells us how much to cut from where to cut and where to release in order to make it absolute zero degrees it also tells us how much is the bending before the surgery and how much bending i have achieved after the surgery whether my knee is stable or not stable what size of implant should be used in order to avoid mistakes so this is our patient which we are going to operate today this patient is only 52 years of age. She has been suffering from pain in the knee, deformity in the knee for almost four to five years. Yes, it is surprising why at such a young age some patients develop arthritis. So if I highlight your attention to the x-rays, you see the knee joint is deformed. This should be actually straight, whereas the knee is angled. And similarly, on the left side, it is angled. We always get a hip x-rays done because many patients can have hip problem which also produce pain in the knee and doctor may think it is the knee which is giving the trouble so the hip x-rays are fine now this lady actually we choose the implant depending upon the type of deformity severity of deformity type of bone stock but this patient also requested if we could do a Johnson & Johnson knee replacement surgery so she was planned for initially CR150. CR150 means we want to retain the ligament of the knee and this particular knee has ability to maintain a flexion of almost 150 degrees. When we went inside we found that the x-rays uh, that the ligaments were damaged hence we had to convert it into a cruciate sacrificing knee. In literature there is no difference in the results and uh, we will show you about the various setup of the computer and how we perform this surgery. So first step is you enter the details of the patient like name, hospital number. Then you click to done. After that you get various options. You want to do knee 3 motion. Universal means when you are using any other implant other than a Johnson & Johnson and knee 3 partial means when you are doing a half knee replacement by Johnson & Johnson so now we are selecting a knee 3 motion so this means that we are going to do a knee replacement which will be Johnson & Johnson implant